Okay, um, hoş geldin herkese. Um, İngilizce konuşacağım, kusura bakma. Um, I am going to talk about the Mediterranean lionfish invasion, which I am studying. Um, for the past year and a half, I have been studying the pufferfish invasion. And for the past six months, I have also started on lionfish. And they're very interesting because they have very uh, many similarities. Um, why is lionfish so invasive? It is like the poster child for an invasive species. It has those very sharp spines. They look about five times bigger than they normally are. Um, you can see that most native species do not recognize that they are predators. Uh, they have camouflage. They have an incredible appetite. Uh, their stomach can expand 30 times its natural size to accommodate food. They can fast for three months without eating. Um, they have a very large mouth. They can fit anything half their body size into their bodies. And um, when they are spawning, their eggs are in a gelatinous mass. So uh, predators are not able to smell the eggs, which gives them another um, benefit for why they are so successful here. Also, there are not very many species eating them. Uh, we are doing a study right now to see what is eating them. I will talk about that in a little bit. And are controlling this species. So they are the only countries so far in the Mediterranean that have allowed uh, scuba diving, uh, spear fishing for lionfish, which we are working on here as well. Um, in the past few months, we have made a wonderful, beautiful collaboration with our American experts who have been studying this invasion for the last 10 years or so. We have just called ourselves Lionfish Universe. Um, so we are doing regular exchanges and we are working together um, since they have many, many ideas for us to help solve this problem. So we have really great guidance. Uh, we hope to invite them here as soon as they are allowed to with COVID. Uh, many of them are really good at organizing fishing competitions. Um, they have shown us that in the Caribbean, scuba divers are providing the best control for lionfish populations. So um, if we want to save our native species, we have to do the same. And we already know what has worked for them. So it should be easy for us. Why should we be worried? It's a beautiful fish. It's good for tourism. Divers like to see it. But because of their huge appetites, they, are, they generally stay in the same area until they consume all the native, pre all the, all the native prey. Um, so they'll eat all the benthic fish and all the native prey before they move on to a new area. Um, and in the Caribbean, they have caused lots of species loss. So they are going to make our ecosystem even less stable than it already is. Uh, we don't have very many large predators left in the Eastern Mediterranean. We don't have uh, good control for them. So some research objectives I am currently working on. Um, I am doing studies with friends from Istanbul University and Eastern Mediterranean University in Cyprus. Um, Emre Yemishkin, Tanner Yildiz, Nazla Demerol, I'm working with them, and Barak Chichek from Cyprus. We are trying to understand their biology. We're trying to understand their growth. Uh, we're doing scuba diving to see how the abundance is changing from Cyprus and Turkey. It seems now there's a little bit more higher densities in Cyprus, but normally what happens there happens here next. We are looking into their diet. Um, I'll tell you some interesting insights in a minute. We are really curious to see if they are spawning all year here in the Mediterranean as they are in the Caribbean. Originally, we thought that the cooler winter waters here would deter their winter reproduction, um, but we have completed eight months of data, so we need four more months of data collection before we can evaluate all these results and um, Hopefully we'll be able to tell how many eggs they are spawning per year and uh, if their spawning season is all year here. 
We are also looking into um, MPA effectiveness. If predators in marine protected areas are helping control lionfish abundances. And in the Caribbean, a few years ago, there a, one form of natural control started for lionfish. And that is these body lesions started on lionfish skin um, and ulcer disease. So we are keeping an eye out for that. And we're also looking at which parasites are on um, lionfish. So that's some stuff we're working on right now. I'm just going to show you a little map I made about the Mediterranean invasion. So, and then nothing else happened for 20 years. 2008, we have our second sighting in Greece. Um, again, they didn't establish there. And then here is when everything started pretty much. 2012 in Lebanon, 2013, Cyprus, very close. 2014, the entire southern coast of Turkey, pretty much. 2015, which is quite the distance. 2016, they're getting saturated in the Eastern Mediterranean. As you can see, there's a report from Southern Sicily. 2017, Greece, the entire Eastern Med. And then we have uh, Egypt and uh, Northern Africa. And here we are now. So uh, it has been a pretty fast invasion. I live in Fetier and I started seeing them a couple of years ago. And last year, the populations just kind of exploded around here. So when fishers sometimes catch them, um, when they're using trammel nets near rocks, sometimes they're getting 30 or 40 or 50 lionfish in a new area. And since this is such a new fish, we need lots of awareness to the fishermen about first aid and how to properly handle these fish. So there's lots uh, we have to work on. What we know about their Mediterranean um, population so far, we know that the population came from the Red Sea, most likely through the Suez Canal, where most of our fish comes from. Um, if we want to control invasions, we do have to do something about that, um, which may be a little bit challenging, but um, it's turning in to a tropical sea here more and more every day. In the USA, they are not surviving under nine degrees Celsius and they stop feeding below 15. Uh, we're curious to see if the same is going to occur here or since they are an invasive species, uh, they're, they're continually adapting. So um, it's just really interesting to study species like these because uh, they're never really, um, yeah, they're continually changing and surprising us. And, and they're adapting to our new area as well. So some modeling studies have shown that only three places in the Mediterranean may be clear of the invasion, the North Aegean, the North Adriatic, and the Northwest Mediterranean. However, the Mediterranean is warming quite quickly, especially the Eastern Mediterranean. Um, it has warmed three degrees Celsius higher than normal in recent years. So uh, the cooler winter water may not offer control. So uh, we expect to see this fish with the, throughout the whole basin um, pretty soon, most likely. Um, what else do we know? We know that in Cyprus, since the densities are a lot higher, um, the majority of lionfish can be found from 10 to 20 meters in depth. Whereas in Turkey, they're still a little bit deeper. They're between 20 to 30 meters right now. Um, they can reach first maturity under one year of age, which is very young for a fish. And they seem to be very happy here so far. They are growing faster and larger than in their native range. Also, we're finding double the females than the males, which is very interesting. Uh, we're not sure why yet. And Last week, I just found the longest lionfish so far reported for the Mediterranean at 39 centimeters, but I'm sure we will break that any day because they have so much abundant food and their prey doesn't know to be scared of them. So they're just um, very happy here. 
Recently, through my pufferfish research, we learned that pufferfish are actually eating lionfish, which is really, really cool. <clears throat> um, pufferfish are another big invasive species problem here, as everybody knows, most likely. Um, so I found lionfish spines inside a, a couple pufferfish, and my friend Hassan Deniz Akbora also found the same in Cyprus. So pufferfish are interesting because they are cannibals. They are controlling themselves. They are controlling a lot of other invasive species, which is great because there isn't much control on pufferfish populations yet. Um, groupers are also eating lionfish. We have uh, several, many, many grouper predation records con um, confirmed in Turkey, Lebanon, and all over Greece. Um, we know that from recent research, we are just about to publish right now, we know that loggerhead turtles are eating live pufferfish, uh, which is a report found in Egypt recently. Someone posted on social media and we're just about to publish that. Um, and loggerhead turtles are also feeding on dead lionfish, which, which is positive. Um, hopefully, I mean, if we can improve turtle conservation and marine protected area conservation, then hopefully we can increase, at least in some areas, turtle and grouper abundances, and that might offer some natural control. Um, prey. Here's a picture of the terminator in the background um, because in the Caribbean, they call the lionfish the terminator fish because generally they eat all benthic species before moving into an area. So uh, we we're finding that lionfish are pretty much exclusively eating native species. They are not eating invasive species. And this is really interesting ecologically because um, the native prey probably, they don't recognize them as a predator. So they're swimming right in front of their mouths and the lionfish is just, he doesn't even have to move. But invasive species, since most of our alien species came from the Red Sea, they probably already know that this is a predator and they're being a little bit more careful. So this is a really interesting difference between pufferfish, which are eating a lot of invasive species and lionfish, which are eating only native species. Also, we have a report recently from Cyprus that uh, baby groupers were found inside lionfish. So I mean, they're eating each other. Um, now, this is a very important point, actually, because uh, the government's a little bit scared to allow spearfishing with scuba diving um, because they're scared that many people will illegally fish groupers. But if we look at the lionfish population explosion, lionfish are going to eat hundreds of thousands more groupers than a few illegal fishers. I think. Um, so we really do have to start controlling as soon as we can. Um, so our native fish are in trouble. Um, our fisheries are declining. As everybody knows, if we want to help our native fish species, then we really do have to do our best to control this and puffer fish species somehow. Um, however, there's a new bounty for puffer fish, so that's good. Um, hopefully we can get some help for controlling lionfish. Many fishers do not yet know how to handle um, first aid for lionfish stings. Um, I had my first sting about a month ago. It's still not quite healed yet. It really, really hurts. All you have to do is stick the area in hot water for about uh, 90 minutes and that will dis help dissolve the venom. Um, there's no other first aid for this. So if you are fishing, if you are lionfish spearing, um, please make sure to have hot water on the boat. It will save you a lot of hassle. Many fishers are still scared of this fish because they're not sure yet what, what the first aid is. So uh, we have to advertise this to fishers um, among many other things. This is my new lionfish jewelry line. I started making lionfish jewelry a few months ago, thanks to some friends in uh, the States that helped me, taught me how to cure the fins and treat them. Um, if you wanna do some shopping, you can look on my website, mercy.org or on Instagram, um, now taking orders. Conclusions, uh, we should be optimistic about this fish. Why? 
because it is it is really really delicious it's very healthy um the bones are very easy to take out actually all of my marine biologist friends it is now their favorite fish to eat so we have a new fish um, that's not farmed there's plenty of them they're very cheap right now also um hopefully with the government soon we can start to get some dive centers allowed to take people on lionfish dives. Um, my team, together with Lionfish Universe, we think that scuba divers really care about marine conservation. So if you allow scuba divers to take special people to hunt lionfish, they're not going to allow illegal fishing. Um, also, we think that people need to take at least a one day course before they start lionfish spearing about safety, about how to properly handle these spears. Now in this picture here, I have a pole spear. We do not recommend that spear guns are allowed. We recommend that pole spears are allowed. And um, these make it a lot harder to hunt other species. So they're going to deter illegal fishing. Uh, this is what pretty much every country in the Caribbean has done for permissions. They weren't allowed to, to scuba dive and hunt lionfish, but most of the countries have allowed it with pole, with pole spears through scuba centers. So that's what we're trying to start over here. Hopefully it will start soon because we need to control this fish. Um, following the advice of our American friends, we have many, many opportunities here with this new fish. Uh, we can develop new markets, we can, um, include this fish in our dinner tables. We have to introduce them to restaurants. We can even get them in some high class supermarkets. We can make dog treats from them. There are many, many things we could do. So in this time, some people are bored. Um, perhaps we can start a new business. Be because environmentalism isn't so strong in Turkey as it is in my native country, um, maybe people will not be so excited to hunt lionfish just to help save the ocean. Um, but I think that if the messaging gets across that they are so tasty and so healthy um, and you can do something good with your time, you can go scuba diving um, and actually catch yourself dinner, um, I think we can make this popular and I think it will be a great, great boost for tourism. I also think we should add lionfish to our fisheries reporting so we can track how many the catchers are catching and it will never hurt if we create some more marine protected areas to help natural predation of turtles and of groupers. Um, thank you for your time. That's my presentation today. Let me know if you have any questions or want to talk lionfish. Thanks a lot.